Hello guys, what's up? Here is the next Unreal Engine 4 tutorial for the inventory and in this one we are going to create just the UI with UMG. So let's start. First I create a folder called UI for the UI widgets. And the first widget will be the inventory. So I call this inventory and double click it to open the UMG editor. So we have a canvas panel here but we can actually remove it because later on we will add this inventory widget to the HUD which already has a canvas panel so let's get rid of this. Alright now let's build the UI of the inventory the first component I need is a border and this one will define the background of this widget. Drag it here onto the inventory and the background is in white color. We will change this later on but first I will drag a size box onto the border to define the size of the whole inventory widget can override the width and the height and we can start with 450 and 200 and we can change this later when we edit the inventory items. Now we'll change from full screen to the desired size on screen. This will be the real size of this widget when the game started. And then let's add the content. I drag a vertical box onto the size box. This will be a kind of vertical stack for all the items that we're going to add. For example, the caption and grid with the items of the inventory. And then I select again the border to define a different base color. I will use a grey tone for this. Ok, and now let's build the caption. For this I will again use a border component. And inside of this border I will add a text. The text will be inventory, but before I do this I will set the background color of the border to a darker tone, almost black. I decrease the alpha. Ok, and now set the text to inventory. Great, now let me set the padding of the text. Let's try a value of 10. Yeah, looks fine. And now we are really going to add the items. I want to add 8 slots. And to do this, I will add a grid panel to my vertical box. With the grid panel, I'm able to arrange items. Yes, in a grid. And I want to have 8 slots in 4 columns and 2 rows. And now let me show you how we can do this. It's quite simple. I will use a sample image that I created as a representation for an empty slot. So here is the image in my image folder I selected. It has a transparent background and a white border. And now I will duplicate this, select it and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And now you have two images in the grid and for the second one you can press this little icon on the right to set the next position in this row. You can also set the padding and now this already looks like an inventory UI. But we can't stick to images because we want to interact with these items. This means we need at least a button 
and on this button there should be an image. And this is where user-generated items come into play. Let's delete the images and you see user-generated is empty. So let's create a user-generated item and call this inventory item. This is again a UI widget Okay, and now let's double click this and a second tab will be opened where we could create this inventory item. Again, remove the canvas panel. We don't need it. And then I will add a button directly to the inventory item. Okay, this color is too bright, so I will change this to a darker tone, like so. And now I will add a size box to this button to size it to 64 pixels. Okay, again, I show it in the desired size on screen. And the last thing we have to add is the image. I will define a small padding for this image. And then select the image that I created. That's it. Our user generated item for the inventory is ready. Now save and compile. And then let's add it to the inventory widget. And when I switch now to the inventory tab and select the user generated section, you can see that our inventory item appears and we can drag it right onto the grid. And here we go, and now let's do the same as we did for the images. Let's duplicate these items, set a small padding, and assign them to the rows and columns of the grid panel. Okay, this was the first row. Now again, insert the items by pressing Ctrl V. We duplicated them and then move them to their positions in the grid panel. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to rename all these items. I will speed up the video. It's not that interesting, I think. But before I do this, I will adjust the size of the outer border. So this looks really nice. So guys, as you know, we have a C++ project and therefore we have a game mode and a HUD component, which is a C++ class. But I want to change this because using a blueprint is more practical and it is also a good example on how to mix blueprints and C++. So let's go ahead and select the blueprints folder and create a new game mode and HUD blueprint. So right click and select blueprint class and as a base class I will select game mode base. And I will call this FPS game mode.
On the right side I have my world settings opened and there I can select the new FPS game mode blueprint. After that I'm creating a new blueprint for the HUD. The base class is HUD. Select this and name this FPS HUD. And I'm also using this as the HUD class in the world settings. Ok nice, and what we want to do now is to create a new HUD user interface widget that displays our inventory. So create a new UI widget and name this UI HUD. Then I open the UI HUD and then I just drag my inventory that I created here right into the canvas panel of this UI widget. I will anchor this, move it to a position and then I save and compile. And the really last thing that we have to do is to display this hut we just created and that contains the inventory. So double click here on the FPS hut switch to the event graph and in the event begin play we are creating a widget and as widget to be created I select the UI HUD widget. Then I will add it to the viewport Okay, now we have to get the player controller because the create widget node needs this as an input parameter. Then save, compile and we are ready to start the game and test if the inventory will appear and here it is, very nice. Of course, in a later step the user has the possibility to show and hide this inventory dynamically but for now I'm happy with this solution. Ok guys, what will be the next steps? Of course we have to display all the items that reside in our inventory in this inventory widget and then I want to add the possibility to drop and to use the items. So this will be a lot of work and I hope you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to not miss a future tutorial. Thanks a lot guys for watching, for your support and I hope to see you soon here back on my channel on JNM.